Hey, restaurant owners, managers, operators, I want to share with you five things plus a bonus, but so we'll call it six things that you absolutely need in your restaurant in 2022. Hey everybody, Ryan Gronfen here, author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, founder of therestaurantboss.com as well as clickbacon.com and scalemyrestaurant.com. So in today's video, I put together a list of five plus a bonus things that you absolutely need in your restaurant for 2022. So let's get right into that right now. These are in no particular order. I'm not saying number one is the most important thing or number five is the least important thing. I'm just going to go one to five. I'm not going to do this like countdown or anything. I just wanted to share with you things that we're working on with clients, things that we're seeing happening, things that you need to be doing in your restaurant or having your restaurant for 2022 to be your best year ever. So the first thing that I put on our list is, is your restaurant Instagrammable? Now, maybe it's not Instagram, maybe it's Facebook, maybe it's YouTube, maybe it's Twitter, maybe it's Snapchat, maybe it's TikTok. I, honestly, I can't keep track of it. You probably have a hard time keeping track of it. I just always use that word, is your restaurant Instagrammable? Because Instagram has, for the last five years or so, been really the photograph place of choice. So is your restaurant Instagrammable? If it's not, make it Instagrammable. Create a wall where people always want to take pictures. Um, spruce it up a bit. Do something fun. But if your food isn't Instagrammable and your restaurant isn't Instagrammable and you don't have anything Instagrammable in your restaurant, why would people share it? And if they don't share it, how do other people know about it? You know, the days of advertising are kind of getting further and further behind us. Yeah, there's still paid advertising that works. There's still free advertising that works and there's still advertising that works, but we're really in a world where we need peer-to-peer -peer sharing for our restaurants, our businesses to succeed. So what are you doing that's Instagrammable? A client of mine just opened up kind of a higher end taco restaurant in Astoria in New York. It's called Taco Tumba. Check it out, it's pretty awesome. But all over Taco Tumba are these like neon signs and these really cool sugar skulls and these like dark rose bouquets, fake flowers, that way they're always, they always look good. But when I ate there like two weeks ago, everybody that comes in and out of the restaurant is taking selfies against this and pictures against that. And they're taking pictures of the food because it's super sexy looking food. And we've been doing this with a bunch of restaurants. We've been doing this for like five to 10 years, to be honest with you. But what in your restaurant is Instagrammable? If it's not, why are we going to share it? Okay. So number one, make sure your restaurant is Instagrammable. Make sure it's social media friendly. Number two, online ordering. Seriously, if you don't have online ordering right now, I don't know what's going on, but you need online ordering. I don't care if you're a fine dining, full service sit down restaurant, or if you're a super casual fast food restaurant, you need online ordering, enough said there. Number three is some sort of table side ordering, kiosk ordering, mobile phone ordering for even if you're quick service or sit down, not so much fine dining, but we're starting to see people placing orders before they go to their restaurants and just walking in and picking it up. We're starting to see apps and services where you could order your food, go to the restaurant, sit down at your table, and the food is already ready to bring to you. So we need to start thinking in that mindset. Now, again, not every one of these is going to be perfect for every restaurant, but you need to start thinking about it's getting more expensive to employ people and that's okay. It's getting more and more difficult to find people and that's okay. That's just part of the world changing and that's fine. We're going to have to adapt to that. One of the ways that we're going to adapt to that is by implementing some more technology. Kiosks or if you don't want to do kiosks, QR codes where people can bring up your menu and order. But we're going to get past this waiting in line and talking to a cashier pretty quickly here. So get ahead of the curve on that one. And then table side payment. Uh, if you are a full service sit down restaurant, even if your family sit down, having some sort of way for them to pay at the table, whether that be through a QR code that they bring up on their phone or whether that be through um, a tablet that you can just hand them. But um, this idea of putting your credit card down and your guests or your servers go into the POS and running it and coming back, that is also uh, departing us and we are entering kind of a new world there. So start thinking about that. Number four, financial controls and a budget. 
Everything is getting more expensive. Everything. Labor is getting more expensive. Cost of goods sold is getting more expensive. If you don't have great financial controls in your restaurant and then a way to budget those and then create a bonus based on that budget, we're going to continue to get ourselves into a place where we're questioning why we're paying so much for managers. But if we don't give them the tools to control budgets and to control numbers and we can bonus them on that, we're just going to keep paying managers more and more, but not getting more and more out of them, out of the job that they're doing. Now, again, I don't want this to get political. I'm not saying it's wrong to pay managers more. For some of you out there who might be perceiving that as Ryan's just trying to take advantage of team members, that is not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that we don't live in a world of cheap labor anymore. And that's also a good thing, but we need to make sure that we're getting the value out of the people that we're now paying more and more. And they want to do a good job too. But if we don't have good financial tools and budgeting tools and a bonus structure in place, it's going to be very hard to do that. Um, now, we have some programs and things that we can talk about. But really, if, you're, if you need help creating a bonus structure or you need help with creating budgets, either check out clickbacon.com or shoot us an email support at the restaurant boss.com and we can kind of point you in the right direction for that. Um, customer feedback. Customer feedback is getting crucially, crucially important here. Don't wait for them to go online and leave you a good or a bad review. They won't do it that often. It's just, it's just tiring. How often do you leave reviews on places? Unless it's a bad experience, then unfortunately they do it. So we need to solicit that and it's getting easier and easier. There's a company that I work with called Ovation. If you go to our website and then click on our menu bar somewhere and find our partners, you can find a link to Ovation. Ovation is the industry leader as far as I'm concerned for review gathering and all kinds of other really great uh, tools that they use to make sure that every time a guest tries your food, we're sending them a quick message, asking them a question, and then if it's a good review, we ask them to leave a review. If it's not a good review, we can intercept that before they leave the review and get back to them. A lot of my clients are implementing Ovation at their restaurant or a similar system and it's getting them phenomenal results. So you definitely need some sort of customer feedback automation. And that's the five things, right? What do we say here? Make sure your restaurant is social media friendly, Instagrammable, online ordering, some sort of table side kiosk, mobile ordering system financial controls with a budget and bonus structure, and then customer feedback. Now, I promised you a bonus, and that bonus is simplicity. We need more simplicity in our business. Now, as things continue to get more expensive and as labor gets more expensive, the old way of doing business is not going to create the profits that it used to. So we need to be simplifying our business. We need to be going deeper and getting better at certain things and not being so wide in our business. So um, this is sort of an introduction to something I do every year called the state of the restaurant industry, state of the restaurant industry. We've been doing this every year for like six years now. I'm really looking forward to the 2022 state of the restaurant industry address. Again, this is kind of a quick preview of that. Below this video uh, or in the bar up here somewhere on YouTube, we'll probably pop up a little button that you can click, a card that you can click on to register, but please go ahead and register for the 2022 State of the Restaurant Industry Address. We usually do it like the second week of January, the third week of January, but I know it's that's like a month out depending on when you're watching this video, but get that on your calendar, register for that. You're gonna wanna be on that call live, and then we do a Q&A at the end, and we usually do some really fun stuff on that call, but more than anything, I'm gonna share with you the trends and the things you have to be paying attention to and implementing and how to implement them in your business for 2022 based on what we've seen in the past and what works and what we see happening in the future. You know, I have a unique perspective in that. I work with about 30 clients a year from all over the world with all different kinds of restaurants. And so I get to see what's working in different restaurants and what's not and that's how I kind of formulate what I think the trends are gonna be. And we've been pretty spot on for the last few years. So really excited about the state of the restaurant industry address for 2022. Go ahead and below this video or in the YouTube card up here, click on that and get registered for it. And again, if you ever need anything at all, reach out to us, support at the restaurantboss.com and we'd be happy to help you with anything we can. Have an absolutely amazing day. And remember, systems create freedom, freedom creates value, value creates scale. I look forward to bringing you another great video just like this next week. Bye-bye.
I have never backed down from a challenge before, but writing this book is absolutely the hardest thing and one of the things I am most proud of ever in my professional career. See, before I wrote this book about seven years ago, I wrote my first book. It never got published because I'm not an author. I'm a chef. I can't spell. I use commas wrong. I start every sentence with but. I ramble on. I break every rule in the English language possible. I'm just not trained for this, but I wanted to write a book and I sat down and I wrote a book back in 2014 and I was really proud of it. And when I sent it off to the people that were going to publish it, they all but laughed. They couldn't even put it in an email. They called me and said, there's absolutely no way we could publish this. The amount of editing and the amount of work it's going to take are just too big of a task. Good luck. And that was it. Now I got that phone call on my birthday. And I had dinner plans with my wife that night and I was really sad. And then about halfway through the dinner, we turned it around and we said, you know what? There's good content in there. And what are you good at, Ryan? You're good at talking, right? I talked a lot. So we turned that book into an audio course. And while it may not have made a great book, the information was incredible. That became our first audio course. It really launched the Restaurant Boss website and online presence. And that book had sold thousands of copies all around the world as an audio course. And then I've still wanted to write a book and get one published, but I just kept saying I was too busy. But in reality, I think I was just a little too afraid to sit down and do it again. But last year, we set the goal to do it. And then when COVID hit, it really motivated me because the world needs the information in this book. You need the information in this book. And I wanted it in a way that it was accessible to everyone, where cost wasn't a barrier, where technology wasn't a barrier. Anyone can read this book. We also didn't want to write a big book. It's only 124 pages. Look at it. It's big font. There's pictures. It's small. That's why we call it Make It Happen, a tiny book for building a big restaurant business. Because we want this book to be easy to consume by you and your team and anyone else who's either thinking about opening up a restaurant, is in the restaurant business and wants to grow, has a restaurant and wants to enjoy more money and more freedom, or maybe you want to scale. Maybe you want to open up two, five, ten, or a hundred restaurants. It's all in here. But I do want to issue a little bit of a warning. I'm a very honest person if you haven't noticed from my YouTube videos and this book is no different. What's in this book are proven strategies. What's not in this book is fluff. What's not in this book is hyperbole or pie in the sky or wishful thinking strategies or just do this because it's so easy when in reality it's not easy. It's going to be hard to build a big restaurant business. It's going to be hard if you're a chef and you want to get promoted to executive chef. It's going to be hard if you're a chef and you want to open up your own restaurant one day. And I don't sugarcoat that. So part of reading this book might really affect you. It might really hit a nerve with you. But I promise you what's in here are only proven strategies, proven strategies that I've learned from working with clients, proven strategies that I learned from my days operating restaurants, proven strategies that I've studied from other restaurateurs during interviews and just studying their brands. And I think we put together, I know we put together an absolutely incredible book called Make It Happen. If you're thinking of opening a restaurant, if you own a restaurant, if you want to own more restaurants, if you want to make more money, if you want to operate with more freedom, then this book's for you. Now, we're giving away this book completely for free because I don't want there to be any excuses. Yes, we have to charge a couple dollars to ship it because we're not giving away the um, PDF version, the ebook. This is a real book. This is printed. It's on paper. We're going to ship this book to you. The book is absolutely free. Just ask you to pay a couple dollars in shipping so that way you can have this book forever on your bookshelf, in your collection. You can give it to others in your business. You can give it to coworkers and you can enjoy this forever. So thank you for coming along on the journey with me. I am so excited about it. Make it happen, a tiny book for building a big restaurant business. Go ahead and click the link somewhere on this page. There's a button. Grab your copy of this book completely for free today. And remember, systems create freedom. Freedom creates value. Value creates scale. I love every single one of you crazy restaurant people, and I hope you have an absolutely amazing day. Bye-bye.